In this video I would like to briefly touch on blending modes. Blending modes are perhaps not used every time you work in After Effects, but they are an important tool you need to know about and understand just a little bit to be able to manipulate photographs or layers with blending mode. Sometimes you can even have items with white backgrounds and just by using the blend mode you can blend a particular layer into an entire composition. Since you are already familiar with the timeline, you know that the blending modes can be activated and changed in this place. If you don't see the blending modes, either right click here, go to columns and open up the modes, or use the toggle switches button to make our modes visible in our layers. Now to explore the different modes we have, please open up After Effects, press Ctrl N to create a new composition, I have a new composition open, double click on the project and please import two different photographs from our footage folder. You see our footage folder is growing, I'll go to the photos and please select one dark image and one bright image. I will for example select the snow valley and the serial image. And now I can prepare my composition to work with blend modes. At first I'll drop down the snow valley. I will zoom out with the scroll wheel and I'll make it a bit smaller, just so it is visible. Since I have my caps lock button activated, it wasn't visible because it wasn't refreshing live. That's normally used to save up memory. Ok, I have my snow valley image inside, now I want to place my serial image also here. But since it's so big, I first make it a bit smaller, I shift it to the left side, I take my rectangle tool and I would like to have about half of this image. So let me mask it quickly. I have my mask like that. Now this image will help me to explore the different blending modes. One last thing I want you to prepare is create another layer. Please create a solid by hitting Ctrl or Command Y. Create any color solid, it doesn't really matter. Hit on the solid, hit Effects, Generate and generate an advanced lightning. This is a built-in After Effects tool which allows us to create lightnings. If you are very curious you can play around in this effect by changing the turbulence or anything you would like, but basically what I wanted you to have is one background layer, one image, another image and an effect so you can check out the blending modes. Now to explain blending modes in very very general, pixels of one layer which is above are mixed with pixels which is one layer under it. So if I blend in this effect, this lightning effect, to a different mode, it will take the pixels and somehow blend them with the image which is in the background. And I would like you to explore the different blending modes. If you want to be a real blending professor, you need to read about the blending modes because they are explained both in the Adobe website, a few simple explanations and of course also on Wikipedia. Most of the modes are explained here like multiply, screen, hard light, soft light and as you can see they are explained mathematically. For example the screen blending mode allows us to blend the values of the pixels in two layers by inverting them, multiplying and then inverting them again. So this is the effect you can achieve with the screen blending mode. Once you get deeper they are going more advanced. You don't have to learn all of this, you, you only have to get an understanding of what blending modes are. That's why I recommend opening After Effects, taking the serial image and checking its different blending modes. For example, those blending modes will work with the dark channels, the next blending modes will work with the light channels and as you see by the divisions they are grouped in several different groups. You can check out what will soft light bring and the good thing here is that we have dark colors and bright colors on this image. So we can check out how each blending mode applies to white colors and dark colors. So please go ahead, check out this image and check out all the different blending modes once so we get an understanding of what can be achieved with them. Apart from the normal photographic blending modes, we can even work with their alpha channels. So selecting this mode on the bottom will most likely delete a portion of the image because they are deleting the channels around it. Be sure to check those as well. If you want only to work on the image, just deselect this layer, select the serial and work from there. The blending modes can be very helpful if you want to create soft effects. I have the serial now ready. I see I have some mask here, but I want to create another mask. Let me maybe create the ellipse tool, create a mask here, delete the previous mask and now I can select this mask, 
and expand it a little bit to make the image bigger and feather it a little bit around. The image is ending here on the right, so this is my little mistake, but I can adjust this a little bit with the mask expansion or by selecting the serial and placing it on the right side. Now it is nicely blending inside of the image and this is how you create simple blending effects with the blending modes.